All right. Some major news I missed. Just been out here since September 14th. Um, I don't usually be on Facebook other than checking some uh, family pictures or just um, usually going to the city below to see if they have any real change. And then this one is major. This is something that they've been rumoring for a while. I mean, to the point where, I mean, they've been rumoring this since I was a little, uh, since 2014-15. So it finally came out of uh, some plans to convert or redo the interchange of McKinley, or not McKinley, of uh, Madison Road and Wisconsin 81 or Liberty Road. Uh, this was on the uh, far west side of the city. Um, and, yeah, I just want to share my opinion. So they have three pictures or three views of how they want the intersection. Now, I'm not going to be all nerdy and use, oh, I like you because of triplet. No, I want to actually, like, try to get, like, a full engineer in-depth to this. Um... So, yeah, we'll read this real quick, just show you. Now it's time to share you your views on improvements uh, to this intersection at Liberty Avenue and Madison Road. Now, if you don't live in Beloit, um, you definitely don't know how bad this intersection is. I put it up there as one of the worst intersections in the city to try to get through. Specifically talking Madison Road because, uh, do I have Google Earth on here? Um, let me see. So here's how it looks in real life. Let me show you. Um, Blight, Wisconsin. Yeah, this is some major news. They just finished uh, Park Avenue. It took them like four months to finish it. But it looks really nice. I might drive through it today just to see. So let's go. Um, so here's here's the intersection right now. As you can see. How it works is they have the street right here. This is McKinley Avenue, this little street right here. And then they have Madison Road going diagonal. And then you have the option to either turn right or turn left. But most of the time, people turn left. And then you have a lot more traffic turning right. So the problem and why I say it's the worst intersection is really because of this intersection right here. This right here. So because... This intersection, I mean, if you've been in Wisconsin highways before, you can tell um, how how congested they usually will get at times. And this intersection has a lot of traffic due to uh, mainly Cunningham and McNeil kids and stuff like that. But it has its peak hours. And not only that, it's also, like I said, it's a Wisconsin highway. So there's trucks, too. That plays a big factor to it. And, yeah, like, people would go through. This is a gas station here. I'll show you what it looks like instead of just showing you um off the screen right here. So, yeah, as you can see, really horrible intersection. You have uh, McKinley Avenue where people will turn right here. They want you to, like, keep straight on here. And then you have, um yeah, and all you have is this. You have the little... Flashing yellow signal, not the traffic light, just a little flashing yellow signal. And then you have the stop sign right here. And you see there's people who want to turn and you want to get into these businesses. And then another thing that people will do sometimes is because it's so close to this intersection right here. Um, People will have their turn signals on early. So people would think that they're turning right here or not. And then going that way. So it may not look like a bad intersection from this perspective, but it really is a horrible intersection, especially. And they've been talking about wanting to do this intersection for years. So it, it's I'm glad they're finally coming out. So they just had a meeting about this to where they were asking the public, which I am shocked on. Honestly, I'm surprised they're asking the public's opinion on this, knowing that they're most likely going to go what they want to go. So the Wisconsin Department of Transportation or Wisconsin DOT or West DOT or Wisconsin DOT is conducting a public improvement meeting for safety improvements at the intersection of Wisconsin 81 Liberty Avenue and Wisconsin 213 Madison Road. Uh, the meeting will be held from 530 to 730 p.m. Monday, September 25th at, at Beloit 
Historic Society, 845 Hackett Street. So this was not even, not that far from where to do it. This meeting is an open house format at your own pace. Please view the exhibits and talk with the project team members who are here to answer questions to explain the ICE process. Ice process. So we'll skip this part because it's more just about the meeting information. So then they give us three perspective i was looking at the comments on uh all of them some of them actually provided some good facts on most of them some of them actually liked a couple and a lot of them really didn't like a lot of um, them at all you know people when it comes to these projects they either have one or two ways of thinking how these projects will go they think about environment they think about families if they have to take down houses which in most cases they do when it comes to road construction so but this one, I don't think, well, one person did mention that there's, like, an alley here. Like, you see the alley right here uh, next to the gas station. They, they People usually cut through that and stuff like that. I don't think that's going to really do anything nor make, like, a big difference at all. So, you got Exhibit A or Alternative 1. So, what their plan is is Alternative 1 shifts Wisconsin 213 to McKinley Avenue. Which I think will be the best one, considering um, uh, that then you have the option for people to still be able to turn on McKinley Avenue without having to worry about uh, people trying to turn left. Because again, I I've, as we go into the picture here you see they want you to use these side roads and you know you have the laundry mat over there and then you have these side roads and stuff like that no one uses these roads so then you now you have an option you have a traffic light and with the traffic light now people from madison road i feel like will be able to have an easier time to cross and that's even putting the fact that um of pedestrians too because a lot of people don't use like pedestrians as like a factor for these projects which is why most of these projects are done the way they are because well like i said the pedestrians cross the streets too so that's another thing about this intersection again a lot of children cross here especially like from again kids who go to mcneil or kids who go to cuttingham which is um down the street from here but i feel like that's going to also vary too because cuttingham is planning to be the only school on this side of town that kids will have to go to and then they're gonna close mcneil so that might play a factor on the traffic it might not who knows i feel like it still needs to be a project to improve this intersection because like i said it's more about cars it's more the fact that uh yeah it, it, it's a wisconsin highway and this yeah there's a lot of traffic on here so that's the first one. I think that's my, my favorite one out of the bunch. And then you still have, you don't have to worry about people who are confused because, you know, people do not use their turn signals too. So you don't have to worry about confused drivers and then, you know, all that. And then also, I forgot to mention most of the time, the roads that they want you to take, like the quote unquote alternative for um, this is also horrible too because again one of the big factors too about this intersection and why it's bad is again it's more about congestion is you have people from the gas station right here so the gas station they have um the gas station you have people who are trying to go on madison road and turn on there you can't see it's a blind spot so like when you're trying to turn from the gas station coming out here it will take you a crap ton of time to get out because of all the uh traffic turning right onto madison road so i feel like if you take away this and just make all the traffic shift onto the mckinley avenue i think this will be the best one so someone did mention that it will take out an entrance to the gas station i mean it really wouldn't considering the fact that most people enter the gas station from grant avenue anyways so it again it wouldn't change anything that's just another stupid public opinion that people just don't understand and i know i kind of sound like an asshole for saying that i just sometimes when it comes to these projects you can't go off of your personal preferences all the time you have to think about how it worked for not only you but everybody else and i feel like this project is a very needed project for boy it's one of the 
biggest projects I think that Nick Boyd needs to do when it comes to its road improvements. And they are capable of doing this too with the money that we have in the city. So, yeah, them taking away this road and not having an entrance. Someone did bring up trucks too. But mobile gas station don't even get trucks like that. Let's be honest with you. So, and if, again, they don't get gas stations. And then down the street, they have the Woodman's gas station, which is right here to stop at, which is what usual trucks will go to when it comes to like stops. And even that, you're only in Beloit for a second as a truck driver. And then you go into, if you keep going on 213, you go into Illinois and then you have the truck stops right here. So is it a bit of a detour for them? Yeah, but it's not like they were already stopping at these gas stations to begin with. So I think alternative one might be my go-to. By the looks of it, I'm pretty sure they're going to close down or not close. So they're going to have McKinley Avenue only have a left turn or a right turn to get onto uh, Madison Road or stay on McKinley Avenue. Then you could have your option right there. I feel like that's the best bet because then you don't have to worry about even if you do have traffic turning right, you have uh, traffic right there to help that out. So uh, I think alternative one is the best. And then we have alternative two. Um, this one right here, I feel like is the worst when it comes to traffic lights, because now what they're doing is, is Wisconsin, Wisconsin 81, which is usually the main street of the, of the intersection is now shifting into like a cross street to where now you have people on 81 just merging on to 213. I feel like this is the worst one, um, when it comes to traffic lights, um, so, and then they close down these two roads. These roads will be gone. So now you have people trying to turn left again. This will be horrible because now people who are trying to turn left on the McKinley are going to have to deal with a whole bunch of traffic coming from 213 and right here. So the only time they'll be able to hopefully be able to cross is when they have the when the light is not red on Madison Road and what they're doing with this one. So, yeah, I think this is the worst one, honestly. Even people on Grand Avenue will still have to hold, wait for it cycle. What made <clears throat> Alternative 1 better is how you have the light and how you have... McKinley has only one turn lane. Yeah, it does still... Well, you still have to worry about traffic on this one, but at least it's not... All you have to do is a few little minor changes with this one. This will be done in like a few months. This right here would take more than a few months. It all for you to shut down a main highway intersection or a main street highway intersection to make it a curve. So this one isn't my favorite. I feel like alternative one when it comes to a traffic light is the best one because this road right here, which is usually the factor to turn right on, will be taken away and you have only two options with McKinley Avenue and while also staying on McKinley Avenue. And it won't take as long since there's a traffic light there. So not a lot of traffic right there. So, and I'm assuming this green thing right here is like a median or something like that. But yeah. All right. And then alternative three, which is your usual Wisconsin roundabout. Um, I'm not, like I said, I like roundabouts. I think roundabouts are pretty cool. They're pretty efficient, but people don't know how to use roundabouts, and I feel like this will be more of a clusterfuck and, and stuff like that because, well, it j they just don't know how to use roundabouts. So you put a roundabout in an intersection like this, maybe it'll work if you put it on the design, if you do some tests with it, but I feel like a roundabout would just make everything worse, okay? Like, listen, I know we live in a state. This is Wisconsin. We have over 800 roundabouts and counting because they put up a roundabout, more roundabouts every single time. Hell, they're just talking about converting Milwaukee Road and White Avenue into a roundabout to improve traffic. And even with that, I didn't really, I think it was good. It'll be cool, but it's not something that I will go to right away. The reason why intersections with traffic lights are still good, even with, to this day, despite people's opinions of what traffic is because yeah, your reason on a roundabout is more of like to keep traffic flow flowing. But even if you have a traffic light, traffic flow will be flowing. And if you have the traffic on the right cycle, it will be perfect. The roundabout, you're just destroy you destroy the 
uh, you're taking both lanes away. I feel like it might be good, but again, like I said, most traffic are turning right. The problem here is most traffic are turning right and left. They're not really worried about 81 going, uh, coming in uh, west, coming in west on 81. They're not really worried about that. You're worried about left or right. So building a roundabout for like only two traffics is, I think, a little bit not my opinion not my cup of tea um but that's your opinion for you to decide out of all the ones i like i think alternative one is my favorite due to the fact that it's just a little bit more simpler and also it uses one of the roads as a factor on how you get on wisconsin 81 and on top of that you have a traffic light there so i think alternative one is a good one what let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section um, and yeah, see ya.